out today. This is really a, a chance for Charlottesville to show off a little bit. Um, and it's well deserved because of the incredible leadership of so many of the folks here. We'll talk more about all that. But what we know uh, is that there are great win-win solutions out there through energy efficiency. We know the cheapest uh, power plants are the power plants you don't even have to build because we've saved the energy. And we've had uh, examples of that with home weatherization like we see here uh, on Brown Street, and we're very excited about that. Um, but this is also a time where we're, we're trying to think a little bolder. We're trying to take some of these good ideas to scale. We're trying to show that in addition to these individual weatherization cases, we can create the kind of economic incentives, uh, the kind of investments that allow this to get bigger and bigger, move into the middle class, and start to see a job creation coming out of that. Um, great leadership from Delegate Toscano and Senator Deeds to, to try to allow for the kind of programs uh, that will create revolving loan funds for energy efficiency. Seeing an area like Charlottesville and Albemarle that wants to be the national leader in this area. And because of that leadership, because of that unbelievable um, vision and willingness to understand these are things that can be good for our economy, good for job creation, and good for the environment, uh, they've been able to get the attention uh, of the Obama administration and the President has sent um, some of his top people here today to view this project um, and we're, we couldn't be more proud to have them here. Uh, we have with us the chair, uh, Nancy Sutley, the chair of the Council of Environmental Quality, uh, who works in the White House, President Obama, so we should welcome her. Uh, we also have the President's top uh, Green Jobs Director. Is that your Director of Advisor. Green Jobs? Advisor. Uh, Advisor Green Jobs, uh, Van Jones is with us.